going on guys and welcome to yet another new gear episode. As I promised you last month, uh, we're gonna take a closer look at the uh, black Harley Benton guitar that I have. Um, so yeah, after a couple of months, uh, I've had enough time, I think, to check it out very thoroughly. Um, and yeah, actually I've been playing this one more than any of my other guitars. So I hope I can tell you some details about uh, the good, maybe the bad things. Um, so yeah, let's take a look at the Harley Benton SC Custom Plus EMG FR. So yeah, that's a very long name. Uh, SC stands for single cut, as you can tell from the body shape. Um, the custom, because I think that's the one of the most expensive uh, Harley Benton guitars. And yeah, I'm gonna go right to the price. Uh, it's around 500 euros. So being one of the most expensive guitars of a brand uh, and costing only 500 euros is just as mind blowing as the prices of uh, the white guitar uh, from my last review, for example. Uh, so yeah, that's I think the thing with Harley Benton, the prices are so low and the quality is so high. So that's really amazing. Plus EMG because of the pickups and FR because of the Floyd Rose tremolo. As with the last new gear video, I'm again gonna play only the guitar uh, to show you some sound samples. Um, but there's gonna be another video uh, with a full mix playing this guitar only, like for both guitar tracks with bass and drums and stuff like that, of course. So make sure to check that one out as well. So what you're hearing in this video is the Joyo Zombie for both the distortion and the clean parts. On the pedal board I have the TC Electronic Flashback Delay, uh, then uh, TC Electronic Hall of Fame, uh, that's a reverb, but I use also a second reverb, that's the Joyo Atmosphere Reverb. And to push the amp a little more to get this really aggressive and dirty guitar sound that you really want in black metal or most of the metal stuff, uh, I use an Ibanez Tube Screamer Mini. I use my Joyo Zombie for both the distortion and the clean sounds, uh, which then of course as always goes into the Harley Benton 2x12 cabinet. As microphones I use two SM57s which I blend together and then they go right into the interface. So nothing fancy there, no super crazy mixing stuff or anything like that. No plugins, just the real sound that you get from the microphones uh, so you get a real idea of how the guitar actually sounds. <laughs> Let's go over the specs first of all. Uh, the guitar is made in Indonesia. Uh, the color is uh, vintage black matte, as they say. Um, so yeah, obviously uh, set in black finish here. Um, very well made. I didn't find any uh, flaws, any mistakes or something like that. 
It has an ivory colored binding which goes around the entire guitar, so around the body, the neck and the headstock, uh, which looks pretty cool combined with a black finish. So the woods were kind of new to me to be honest. It's an Akuma body, uh, Niato neck, which is supposed to be kind of similar to mahogany as Wikipedia told me. And the fretboard is made of Jatoba, uh, which yeah feels and looks exactly like rosewood. So I think primarily they chose these kind of woods uh, because of these international restrictions uh, that we have now um, because you cannot use uh, so easily anymore these uh, exotic wood types like rosewood, ebony and stuff like that. <laughs> So yeah, let's talk a little bit about the neck. It's a modern C-shape neck, they say. Uh, it's actually pretty thin, I think, but it feels really good in the hand. Um, also, of course, with the satin finish, uh, it just plays very smoothly. So it's 25 and a half inch scale length. Uh, so a little bit longer, uh, for example, compared to the white SC1000 that I made a video about last month. But this is very comfortable to play. Uh, it's actually not a very uncommon uh, scale length, especially on metal guitars. I think that's the standard. Um, yeah, you can play, as I said, very comfortable. And I think you wouldn't have any issues with lower tunings if you want to, of course, put some thicker strings on there. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty pretty good. It feels, feels actually really great. Um, yeah, the, the quality of the frets is also pretty great. Nothing sticking out, so very, very well made. Um, it has 24 uh, medium jumbo frets. Um, so yeah, that plays very nice. Um, it is a set neck. Uh, with a huge cutout here so you can access actually all the way to the 24th fret um, with no problem at all. So not only for rhythm players but also if you're a shred kind of guy or girl um, you will really enjoy this guitar I think. <laughs> So other than of course the satin black finish, I think the real eye catcher of this guitar is the gold plated hardware. So for example we have here an original Floyd Rose, so it's not a license or anything like that. It's a Floyd Rose 1000 tremolo. Um, I've played these tremolos for years and years and they are so reliable, they never go out of tune. You can use and abuse them as much as you want, uh, you're gonna break some strings before it goes out of tune. Um, so yeah, you can do some real funky shit with this. So yeah, that's uh, always my go-to choice. If I have the choice of what tremolo I'm gonna use, uh, it's the Floyd Rose 1000 for sure. 
The pickups are two original EMG active humbuckers. To be more precise, they are the EMG Retro Hot 70. And I'm gonna be totally honest, I've never heard of these pickups before until I got this guitar. Um, I mean, everyone knows, for example, the EMG 81, uh, which I think is the go-to metal pickup. Uh, I have a couple of guitars at home with the EMG 81 in them, um, and it sounds incredible, but this is definitely a metal worthy pickup i don't know if it's just me if it went right over my head but yeah i'm gonna be honest i've never heard of them before but i already love them very much especially when it comes to recording i think it's always nice to have like a different sounding guitar or two different sounding guitars um because of course yeah, it's always great, for example, to use two guitars uh, to start with, but if both guitars have the EMG81 in them, I think the difference of the sound is not as big as, for example, using one EMG81 and uh, the Retro Hot 70, for example. And uh, the sound of the pickups are really great, especially for metal. I mean, they are, first of all, very well balanced, both. So uh, when it comes to clean parts, for example, uh, you can switch switch between um, bridge and neck pickup or both at the same time without having any volume issues uh, which is the thing that I hate the most uh, when you play on the bridge pickup you switch to the neck pickup and it's much louder or much quieter but these are very well balanced so that's pretty awesome. Um, sound wise um, they range from very warm, uh, very very full, very rich, but they can also sound really dirty, really aggressive. So yeah, I don't know, maybe is it the perfect pickup for metal? You guys decide. So yeah, that's why I can't believe that I've never heard of these pickups because the variety of sound is so rich. Um, you can play, I think, almost any tone with these pickups. That's incredible. For the controls, we have, just as with the SC1000, two volume controls, one for each pickup, one master control and a three-way toggle switch. The body is actually quite thin, uh, which surprised me because if you know some single cuts like Les Paul models, uh, they tend to be quite thick, but this is uh, pretty thin, very comfy. You have a little belly cut here, so it's very comfortable to play standing up. Weight-wise, it's very well balanced, um, so there's no neck dive or anything like that, neither standing up or when you're playing uh, sitting down. <laughs> Thank you. 
back you have some cavities for the electronics uh, the battery here for example and this one is for the springs which I do recommend you uh, to open it up once you get it uh, of course if you have to set it up for different tunings or something like that but put something in there so the, the springs get muted um, just as with the neck wrap I talked about that uh, when I talked about the white Harley Benton guitar um, yeah do yourself a favor put a neck wrap on there because uh, you want these strings to be muted in case you play some palm mute or chugging riffs or something like that so um, yeah that's that's the first thing that you should do other than that I think this guitar is pretty much perfect. Quality wise, it's really well made. It's uh, nothing to be adjusted here. Um, and yeah, this really blows my mind. I cannot state that enough with the Harley Benton stuff. I really became, I think I really became a big Harley Benton fan already uh, with the new bass, the two guitars and all the little stuff which started for me with the Harley Benton journey, so to say. Yeah, just as with the white SC1000, the only upgrades that I did so far were the neck wrap uh, strap locks because you don't want it to be flying off. And this is actually a guitar that I'm gonna take on stage very soon. Um, and as I said, the dampening inside here to dampen the, to mute the springs of the Floyd Rose tremolo. Maybe I'm gonna do some other adjustments, but those are gonna be more for visual reasons than for playability or sound or anything like that. For those things, I think it's perfect as it is right out of the box. So I'm gonna leave it as it is. So, after all, is there something negative about this guitar? <laughs> I've got to be honest, I didn't find anything so far. I played it for a couple of months now and I was really searching for at least some flaws so I could say, you know, it's a great guitar, but this thing is bad or something like that. Nothing, I could not find anything. It's like really one of the most perfect guitars that I've played. Um, not even the nut here of the Floyd Rose, it's so smooth in here. So that's perfect, like not even this. Um, yeah, I, I couldn't find anything. So I'm really happy with it. And if you consider that it's 500 euros, that's really insane. I cannot state that enough. It's really mind-blowing how Harley Benton manages to pull off such a high quality 
for such a low price. If you, I wouldn't know the price and you would hand me this guitar and tell me, you know, that's like a thousand euros, uh, I would say, yeah, okay, sure, that's, that's a fair price. That's actually still an amazing price for this. If you would tell me even uh, two and a half thousand or something, I would say, yeah, sure, that's expensive, but uh, I can see why. You know, I mean, you have like uh, really awesome hardware, you have the EMG pickups, um, so yeah, I think uh, the the price is a steal for this kind of guitar. That's really amazing. I mean, I own myself a guitar for 1600 euros. I have a guitar for 2600 euros and uh, they play definitely in the same league as this one. So that's really incredible. And uh, yeah, I can only recommend anyone to at least check out a Harley Ben guitar if you have the chance. Uh, I'm very sure you're gonna be very happy with it. people wrote me actually that they bought a guitar or bass from Harley Benton because of these videos um, and that they were not at all disappointed and that they were really happy and the quality seems to be not only in these actual guitars because yeah you can ask yourself is it just this one model and he was lucky to have it but yeah so far from all the messages that I get everyone was super happy with their Harley Benton guitars when they uh, came that maybe you could see as the only downside when it comes to Harley Benton that the shipping time can be really long, um, especially in these guitars. But I think the reason is also because they are so popular right now. I think many guitar players are realizing now that they are getting such high quality for very uh, low price. And that's why I think many people are ordering and they are all the time out of stock. And uh, yeah, you can order it and you have to wait sometimes for a couple of months until you get your guitar. But definitely it is worth the wait. Um, I myself have been waiting for this guitar for I think four months. Um, but yeah, I would wait even longer uh, now that I know how good they are. Totally honest. <laughs> that's it if you're still here thanks so much for watching the entire video here you can check out the guitar in a full mix and I see you around in the next one bye guys <laughs>